Hello, and welcome to the Movie Universe. I'm your host, Movie Fan. Well, it's Easter once again, so I just had to cover an Easter special. And today I'm going to be covering something that's uh, pretty obscure, and it's a special called Easter Egg Morning. I never heard of this before, but last year my friend Joshua Oro introduced me to it because he talked about it, and I couldn't help but look it up. And I found this one to be pretty interesting, actually. The story goes like this. Easter's coming around, and the chickens who lay the eggs for the Easter bunny, well, they're, uh, they're not very happy with how he gets all the credit, and he says he does all the hard work, but he doesn't acknowledge them at all. So they decide they want credit or else uh, he can do it himself, because without their eggs, he can't deliver them. But at the same time, the Easter bunny, whose name is Speedy Cottontail, by the way, he is an artist with a pretty big ego. He actually paints the eggs, and of course, obviously, he delivers them. He basically says that without his decorations, the eggs are nothing. So the chickens decide to go on strike, and they don't give him any eggs. They tell him he can just go get them himself. And so he sets out to find eggs, while the chickens set out to paint their eggs and to try to deliver them. Along the way, the Easter Bunny tries to get eggs from a snake with lipstick and a crocodile. I'll give you one guess how that turned out. But I haven't had my lunch yet. My tummy's recognizing. And a big fat bunny rabbit sounds extremely appetizing. I've got the perfect thing to take my place. How about a bowl of carrots in your face? even tries to get eggs from an ostrich, who was nice enough to give him, but unfortunately they were a little too big for his car. As for the chickens, well, they realized that painting is a lot easier said than done, because all the painting they were doing, it's a real mess. And even worse, they don't know how to deliver them, and especially they wouldn't be able to do it fast enough. In the end, the Easter Bunny and the chickens apologize to one another, and they start working together once again. The chickens lay the eggs, the Easter Bunny paints them, and he delivers them. Now, this was actually a pretty interesting little story, and I'm surprised that I never heard of this, because it was made in 1991, and, well, I made no secret, the 90s was my time, so I'm surprised i never seen this before. Now, I found this special to be pretty darn good, actually, because it's really a lesson about teamwork, and I think that does it very well. The animation is pretty darn good. It's um, a little quirky at times. Don't get me wrong. There's nothing wrong with the animation at all. It's just there's something about it that seems to have kind of a quirky charm about it that I just can't put my finger on. And because it's so simple, there's really not much I could say about this. Before I go, I want to give a shout-out to my friend Joshua Oro for introducing me to this. So, Joshua, thanks for sharing this with me, because I never even knew that this existed. And to all you out there, if you haven't seen it, check it out. I think you might like it. This is Movie Fan, signing off.